Hey what's up guys, it's the House of Tech Tips coming at you with my first PC build. Now this is going to be a build for the people who want the best of the best. Now this is a build for video editing slash U it's an uber gaming system as well. So let's get started. First of all we're going for the CPU, we're going with the Intel Core i7-3930K. Now this is unlocked CPU so you can overclock it pretty well. And it's socket 2011 so it supports all that good stuff with the quad channel memory. And it's clocked at 3.2 gigahertz. It has a 12 meg cache. It's six cores. It's good. It's fast. For the motherboard, we're going with the Asus Sabertooth X79 motherboard. Now this is around 355 dollars. For 355 dollars, it's feature packed. It has everything you're probably gonna need: six gigabit, six gigabit per second SATA ports, three gigabit per second SATA ports. It's ADX. It's fast. It's good. It has USB 3.0 support, and yeah, and it's also got their instant, instant fast boot technology as well. So that's going to be pretty handy for people who want this system style really quick. For the memory, we got some Corsair high performance Dominator Platinum RAM. Now this is the best looking RAM I've ever seen. It just looks so good with the chrome on the top. It's just fantastic. It's a dual channel kit. I couldn't find a quad channel key, but if you guys do find one, just grab that. It's around twice as good. It's good for Tokyo 2011. It's fast. This thing's fast. It's just clock 2133 MHz, Dominator Platinum. It's Corsair, so it's going to last you a while. You know you're getting good quality parts all around. So, yeah. For your SSD, we're going with a Samsung 840 Pro Series, 128 gig. SSD now this is around $160 for 100 a 28 gig SS 128 gig SSD is good enough for your OS now if you want to store other programs that you're going to be using for editing rendering whatever you need like After Effects and Premiere or Photoshop you might want to look at a 240 gig or the 258 gig models they're really good as well but if you're just gonna put your OS in there maybe a game or two that's probably gonna be playing really frequently this is good for that or you might want to look at getting two of these and running in rate zero for speed now for the graphics card you already know this card it's been out for a while it has a lot of hype after it and it's really fast it's the Asus GeForce GDX Titan now this is the 6 gigabyte model I chose this card because it's got heaps of cooler cores, it's fast. I was getting the 690, it does outperform it in games, but for rendering, most of the Adobe, all the programs in the Adobe suite don't take advantage of twin GPUs on a single card or in SLI or Crossfire X. So there's no point of getting something like a 690, which has two GPUs on one card, so this is good. and. It's not as expensive and it has the Asus's GPU tweak utility so you can overclock if you need to but this is GPU is 2.0 so I don't think you need any overclocking or overvolting or anything like that. Now you're going to be doing a lot of work with video and sound so why not get your sound card so it will be less interference and you get better sound quality. So we're going with the Asus Zonar Essence STX. Now this is around $185. Now for $185, this is red card. I personally use it, and it's it's great. It's good for headphones. It's it amplifies the sound. Like it's good. It has a line in if you need one. For I don't know what you'd be doing there, but you know if you need a line in, it has line in. It's two channel. It's 24 bit headphone amplifier. It's, it has good all this good stuff and. Yeah, it will probably last you a while because it's it's Asus and they've got good part quality parts. Now for your main storage drive, we're gonna get getting the Western Digital Velociraptor one terabyte hard drive. Now these are a lot faster than the WD Black Caviar Black hard drive or the what was it Sega? Yes, yeah, Sega Barracuda hard drive. These are a lot faster. These are specifically made for rendering, 3D, scientific modeling, video editing, and things like that that require high performance, 
hard drives and these are pretty much the fastest you're going to get on an actual hard drive rather than going to an SSD and if you're going to go for one tab at SSD that'll cost you like 10 times as much as this so it'll be pretty expensive and these are just great for the money and 10,000 RPM it's really fast 1640 64 megabit megabyte cash it's really fast 265 dollars it's great and we're gonna get a, getting two of these and running them raid zero so that would be pretty fast now to cool the CPU we're going with a Corsair Hydro Series H100i liquid CPU cooler now uh, this is a really good cooler uh, I've used this and it's really good I've had on my 3570k was an i5 I've managed to get around 4.8 gigahertz you, but I like to keep mine cool and put it on 4.5 and it's just fantastic and if you're worried about leaking or anything it will not leak and if it does leak you can just call a Corsair and they'll fix everything for you really good with warranty and things like that and I think it has a 5 year warranty I'm not sure but it will last you a long time and it's also pretty quiet surprisingly and it features the Corsair link technology so you know if, if you're obsessed with having a computer like really really quiet you can like turn down the fan RPM and that'll keep it really quiet but obviously you're going to be sacrificing your core clocks so you're going to have the, a low core clock but you know at least you're overclocked in it's cool and it's not noisy so yeah that and I forgot the case to mention it but you can probably go for something like a Corsair 800D Yeah, Corsair 800D, that would do you pretty good. It's a really large case. It's got lots of ventilation. It's got all your ports you probably need. USB 3.0, your audio jacks, USB 2, eSATA. It's got fan controller. If you need to control, change the speed, it all, has all this room. It has good cable management. It's got all these fans you can put in. I don't know. I, can, I think you can have to have up to like 10 fans or thing. I'm not sure but it's a giant case now if you want to go for something like a bit more flashy than this you know if you like to have a light show or something like that something along the lines of that you probably probably go with an NZXT Phantom 820 now that is a really good case it's, it's nearly as big it's not as big as this but You know, it's a good, it's a good case. It's a really good case. Sorry, guys, I just have to get down the rush. But it's a good case. It has lots of ventilation. Look at this mesh, mesh on the side, mesh on here, mesh on the back, and it's also lift up the ground, so you're gonna get a lot of airflow going around this case. And it also has these lights, and I believe you can change the hues of the lights, so you can. And they have RGB lights inside and the LEDs, so they don't make any heat, and. It's a great case, but it's not as big as the Corsair. So I would recommend the Corsair, but if you're a fan of lights, and I, I am, but I'm a pretty good fan of lights, and I like to have a flashy case that looks good and things like that. But if you're not, if you don't really care about aesthetics, I'll go with the Corsair. But if you do, an NZXC Phantom 20 is a really good choice for you. So I hope that wraps it up, guys, and. Yeah, so thumbs up, subscribe, and hope this thing doesn't bug me next time. But yeah, that's so. This has been so that brings us to about 3,800. I know it says about 4,000, but this site actually adds another 200 to the system just for the building and the assembly cost. But I'm pretty sure you're going to be building your own computer if you're doing something like this, like $3,800 is a lot for a computer, and this is. Like gonna run anything you throw at it, no problem. So you can put like Crisis Three or Crisis Warhead, whatever you want. The Witcher, and like maybe not the Witcher full settings, but you can put nearly every game up on full settings. So yeah, so th thumbs this video up, guys. I'll be sure to make another, bring another video, maybe a less expensive one, around thousand dollars or two thousand dollars, maybe next time. Or you know, I can do a lot cheaper one for about five hundred dollars if you want. You know, if you want to replace a console, probably sell your PlayStation 3 and the Xbox and sell all your games and just go move over to PC gaming. 
which is a lot cheaper, you know, you can just go to Steam Summer Sale, you can get tons of games for like, you know, instead of just going and pre-ordering a game for like $100, you can just get it on Steam Summer Sale for like $10, $15, you can get a ton of them. So yeah, that wraps it up, so thumbs up, subscribe, and just comment in videos which, what type of build you'd like to see next, whether that be gaming or video rating again, or, you know, more extreme, probably not more extreme, but at least a more average type of build. So yeah, see you guys. <coughs>